what's up you guys welcome back to another session of minecraft i almost said elite versus wild oh my god i keep thinking about it <laughs> eat some um fishy crumbs and get them on your face anyways let's get started we have some stuff to do um so i'm crazy and i did something off camera um it's kind of weird <laughs> just gonna give you a sound bite real quick oh yeah there it is <laughs> hi boom <laughs> Yeah, I'm weird like that. I decided to go all the way to the ice area and then just drag it all the way through the forest and then kind of like over the water and then over here. So here we go. That took a while. Um, but well earned. Um, let's go ahead and name you. You're going to be named. Um, hello, where's your hitbox? Hello? Oh, I haven't named the name tag yet. Duh. Okay. Let's see. We're gonna name you. Bepis. Bepis Bear. Mmm, just Bepis. Bepis! Come here. Bepis, please. You are now Bepis. I know, Coca-Cola is the, you know, the little polar bear that's on Coca-Cola, but you know what? My joke is that it's Pepis. Because <laughs> it's my favorite soda. I don't like Coca as much just because it's a little less sweet, more fizzy, and blech, concentrates on that. Versus Pepsi being, like, overly sweet, and I love that. It hurts my teeth, but it's great. It's wonderful. <laughs> more sweet, sugary, cocaine tasting. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, yes. Uh, there was another thing I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, my uh, other helmet broke, so now I'm wearing this one. Um, oh, and we went fishing. I caught one of these bad boys. I had to go far out for this bad boy. I couldn't freaking find one. And now we have one. So, um, let's go over here and let's do some more name tags. We have... Mrs. Puff. Go. We're gonna have. Uh, uh oh. Oh no. What did I do? Oh, that's weird. Sorry. Did you guys see that? Hold on. Let me check on recording. I think we're still recording. Yeah. Okay. That was weird. Sorry. I didn't mean to hit full screen. F11 is like right above backspace, of course. Um. Uh. We need to name the other two fish. Oh gosh. Um. Let me ask Katie real quick. Let me text her for a um, name of a fish. And then I'm going to text Kara and ask her for a name of a fish. All right, let's see if either of them respond. And while I'm waiting for their responses, I'll just take this back. Thanks. <clears throat> These can wait for their responses. Meanwhile, let's go put Mrs. Puff out in the water. Yay! Although, I think Mrs. Puff might be a cunt and, like, kill the other fish, if I'm not mistaken. So she might have to go in her own, like, little, like, water zone. I don't know. Because there's the other fish. Um, scales and fish. I think I might have to have her in her own enclosure, yeah. <clears throat> For sure. So, um, there is this little area here, and I can block it off. So let's um, get some dirt. And we're gonna have her over here in her little area. All by her lonesome self. But it's because she's too dangerous for other fish to be around. Like that. Beautiful. And let's try to make this even. <laughs> this freaking shovel, dude. I'm just like ripping through it all. Um, 
I didn't notice that. It kind of looks like it's coming into this area. That's cool. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to push this one back a little bit more. Let's open it up to this. There we go. And maybe open this one out. There we go. And I think just to about right there, this can become like normal land. So that means if I'm going to visit this area a lot more, I'm going to like make it a little more safe in this area just so I don't get mugged. All right, Mrs. Puff. Here you go. Yay! Hell yeah. How are you, little hoe? Look at you. You're so cute. Ow. Ow. You little hoe. Well, you can look at her from a distance. She's not too nice up close. <laughs> little slut. Whatever. Um, wow, she's tinier than I thought. Okay, I just got them back. Okay, um, so let's see. Let's go all the way back. Um, you're going to need some more light before like a predator gets you or something like a, I don't know. Something would eat it, wouldn't it? I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking. Oh, don't get too close. <laughs> Mrs. Puff is angry. She doesn't like to be touched. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna like make an own like an enclosure for the little bear. I might make it similar to home if I can get a silk touch book. Then I can go all the way to that um, area and just collect all the ice and the packed ice, especially that won't melt. So I can put it in this area. Um, okay, so let's see. Kara thought of Malawi. So M A L A W I. Okay, I like that. And then Katie thought of Gerald, but not spelled anywhere near the same Gerald. Because um, normally, traditionally, a Gerald would be spelled like either this or this. But Katie is not very good at spelling. <laughs> I know she knows this. She spelled it like this. Jer old. <laughs> Ooh, way <my> back. <laughs> Maybe he's an old fish. <laughs> All right. Thanks for your responses, guys. You both respond really fast. Probably because you're not doing anything right now. All right. Let's go down. Hi, Peppis. How are you? I wish you could put a saddle on Beppus. That'd be funny, riding a polar bear. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Now we need to grab these guys. And let's let them free. Move my food. Okay. Mm, let's let them free over here. Okay. So here is Malawi, and here is Gerald. Yay! We have more fish! That's what, four, five fish in this area now? Nice. Mrs. Puff, where are you at? Hi. <gasps> Boo! <laughs> uh, that's funny. I like doing that. Okay. Um, We can go over here now. So that's the business that I wanted to do at the beginning of this uh, session here. Um, and yeah, let's see. I've been filling up the, the food stand more. Um, I decided it's not just going to be fruit, I guess. I'm going to make it all kinds of food. So it's just going to be whatever I can find and put in there. Um, why don't we put in some kelp as well? Why not? There we go. Um, you could sell some kelp. There. And let's see. Yeah, whatever. Check on my. Let's just, oh, I wanted to put these around. And um, I don't know why that's not growing. I've been hitting it with bone meal. I did ten bone meal in it, but I'm thinking, 
and I might be right, um, it might be like the jungle tree, because it's four wide usually, you might have to put four saplings in a row, and then bone meal, and it'll be like, poof. So, I think that's what I might have to do. Um, let's put some for bear here. And let's go up here and put some on my area. Ah. I like to beautify my area. Let's go sleep. We have stuff to do in the day, not night. Um, let's see. Let's go through here. I put baby B over here, by the way, because um, at first, originally, I put baby B in the little like uh, enchanting library, and freaking um, villager over here kept going back and forth, and accidentally trapped baby B in like the doorway, kind of like halfway, and he was like, re, re, and I was like, oh no, he's losing health, and he only lost like two little punches worth. Um, and then he, like, escaped the door. He was, like, trapped in it or something. I think he can get stuck in doors. So he lost a little bit of health. I don't know how to heal him, whether it's... Because he's undead, technically. So I don't know if throwing a healing potion would just kill him. Or if throwing a, um... It's a harming potion for the reverse effect. A harming potion would heal a zombie and skeleton. So would it help BBB? Because if so, I can make a harming potion very easily. Isn't it just, uh... Oh, God, what is it? What is... Arming. I don't remember what ingredient it is exactly, but I'm going to have to figure out how to make a harming potion that helps baby be heal. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I wanted to make one of these on camera for you guys. Because I figured out that I had the materials and I remembered that it was even a thing in this game. <laughs> Sometimes I forget it's a thing, okay? Yes, there we go. I'm so excited to have one of these magical bad boys. Um... I'm going to kind of use it as a backpack, um, essentially, since you kind of can. Um, I don't, once I get shulker boxes and whatnot, those are going to be my backpacks, but for now, this ender chest can be, so um, I'm going to have an ender chest. Let's see. And then seagrass for whenever I can find turtles. I'm going to breed them and then um, get an egg. Steal the eggs from them and then come like hatch them over here and then put them in the um, water over here. I'd like to have some turtles. Turtle, turtle. Yeah, it'd be cool to have some. Um, let's see. What else? I'm so excited to have one of these though. Let's cook all this uh, sand. And let's see. See, look, here's one thing I could do. I could put away my diamond shovel. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I didn't know you could. <laughs> so I can't shulker box it. Damn it! No! Do I get my shovel back, or is it just non existent in another dimension? Shoot! Okay, so I'm gonna have to place this bad boy somewhere. Uh, okay, wow, 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 wow. Um, let's just place it over here by the um, portal. Oh, thank goodness. Do you hear that sound, by the way? It's like a portal opening. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. What else did I want to do in this episode? But yeah, I put Baby B back here because then it, he can't use it, and then so can't the villager. So it's only for me. So I have to be careful myself. I have to like come in here, and if Baby B's like right here, I gotta like push him out of the way and be like, move, don't come out here. So go this way. Oh look, he's gonna follow me. Oh, I thought I heard him running. I was like, don't follow me, please. Um, I don't want you to get killed by the door smashing him. Um, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remembered I was doing this episode that I wanted to do on camera. Hi there. It's so funny. I ripped him from his freaking family. <laughs> so, oh well. I don't care. Um, yes, I've been working on this a little tiny bit off camera. And I wanted to do more work on camera. So let's... Oh, also we have a seaweed farm now. Or, I mean, a kelp farm. I've um, collected some kelp from out there and then put some right here. So. Hello. Okay. Um, let's, yeah, I don't have much here. Stop at cave noises. I think the cave noises are because this area over here is, is still dark. Yeah, see? 
<laughs> yeah, it's still dark over here. So there you go. That's that's how I can explore. You little. Ugh. Where are you guys coming from? 